Hi, today I am in Florida in my Airbnb house and as you see I have a large bunch of stuff and maybe you might wonder are you taking these with you when you are traveling and the answer is yes <laughs> short answer is yes not only I take them with me everywhere but I also gain more and more stuff while I'm traveling and at least one large piece of luggage is full just with my stuff like these papers and journals and I will share with you what and why I am showing you this this video will be about paper materials not about these materials I will share in another video and also check this video about 13 ways like many ideas what you can do in your art journaling or journaling at all so that is separate video this one is more about the choice of paper the choice of sketchbook or why i prefer something over something else and i must tell you that there is no bad piece of paper the same way when i was studying photography my school director always said there is no bad camera because good camera is the camera what you have at hand when you need it the same way is about the paper paper can be good maybe piece of magazine or something when you really need it so everything we can use and here it is the choice is yours when you make and uh, I will share my choice so my choice is currently i'm not saying that it will be like this later but at least at this moment when i am taking this video my choice preference is everything about this company kansan i love all papers what they produce especially that line 180 i will show you what it looks like if i compare with the similar something else this is another company and this is Kansan so when I bought this one I didn't know what I'm buying but I love to experiment so this was my experiment which really went good so good that I felt in love with this sketchbook what is it called sketch yes sketchbook so probably I will <laughs> buy I will be their buyer for life and now I will open it and will share something with you why I love it. I love the way how it the size is perfect and also the materials how it's made. Every little piece everything is full of thought with uh, very good functionality and I'm not sketching in this book, but sometimes like I can use it for this is the background is made with watercolor and here is also a background with watercolor and then I was drawing with a pen and here is acryl and it works very well with with everything what I do and here is collage. So collage and then there's also acrylic medium and uh, whatever i don't remember what i have done it so it bears everything it suffers and yours and like it's good for everything every little thing and what i sometimes i do not always but sometimes i do i just paint out the leftover paints be it watercolor or acrylic color and, and you see I put in between pages when I paint with acrylic colors I I use this paper very thin paper in between so that it doesn't stick together so here is white page and the main reason which is so cool I will show you what it is when you open it like this it stays like this I didn't pay attention to this thing at all before I had this and now as I said I am their customer for life because when I will show you what other sketchbooks do like when I open it 
it, it, it acts differently, as you see. This stays open and this, this one does this. Before that, it was not annoying for me at all until I knew that there is a better way. For sometimes when you paint something special, like for example here, if you paint and then it, it sticks when you turn your back to take something and then it's stuck. But this one never does this. You can always leave it, it will still behave even if you are not present. So my highest praise is to this one. But the thing is that the price is high and also not always everything is something you want to keep forever. So let's go to the next one. I don't keep all my journals, not because I dislike them, but just because I, as I told you, I'm, I'm moving around a lot and I, I cannot take all things with me. So I learned that I can use composition notebook. And as you see the price here, I bought in a thrift store for one dollar and just regular notebook as you see like this and when I will show you in another video when I cover it with acrylic colors or even watercolors or something or collage this is very perfect perfect for all kinds of experiments and uh, training and to just have volume out because we need a lot of volume when we are in training so that we can become better but if we will just use this for our training purposes then probably it will be expensive and also you will think about every little piece of art what you will put here because you will want to save space and you will block yourself so I will share in another video what you can do specifically in this one, what I am doing. I have two of these and I have different, different meaning for both of them. So that's fun. But here you don't have even to put a thought, like just experiment and as more the better because volume, amount of your artworks will make you better. That's a very great way to do journaling. Here is another one. This also is very great company. I love them. And here is like my, some zentangles. You can cut it for zentangles. I love to do on a black background. And this is very high quality paper. But also you can do art journaling here. And recently I really have felt in love with black. I will show you what I do. And I apologize about all the noises in the background for I cannot control it. What's going on around me. And I really do hope you hear me well. So this one is my art journal i didn't like anymore what i was having there and then i covered with black acrylic paint and then i wrote with posca pen on this black background i just discovered that i you know the mood moods change sometimes we have preference like here i love to write with not only with white but also with different colors and a black one and so i was like hmm probably I will use this one. I bought this for something else, but now I am saving it for my creative ideas for my art journal. I love the paper is really thick. The next is, as I told you, I love everything about this company, Kansen, and their mixed media. It's very convenient that you can do this and then draw and then do like this but this is more for artworks this is not so much art journaling as uh, i share like this because it's this is when you do something at your home and then you put this on the shelf and it's convenient but if you want to put something in a bag i don't like this part 
and this is large format of this one i have from the same company this this size this and also this that's the same company just different sizes i love to make creative experiments so these are four different sizes from the same company and i love them they have also very good materials and also almost like kansen it it opens and the name of the company is art creation i bought this in europe and this one is really great too so it stays open if i open it stays open and also i can close this with this one so the same way this one is great because also it, it just keeps it closed and uh, yeah i love also to to paint my uh, pages before i write this is more this uh, is more journal for my writing I paint also for my writing and here is some experiment with stamps what i'm doing in my journals i will share in some other videos this one is about paper and this is the same as i showed you just a different again format it really is a tool what i appreciate that i have this one is for my bullet journaling currently i'm using this one now this one is full and for bullet journaling i use two journals this one is with uh, like my main thing and this one is field notes which is about my daily things i don't write my daily things here only here and after that it migrates over there but yes i also use some not not so much but some colors little something that's not so much with images this one is actually this is from a workshop i provide that's why i it's a little bit secret what's there this is more about my vision about my life with visuals with texts with and i keep it separate from everything because it's very convenient to take it and do, here is my sketch pad that's more about where i am doing training for my visuals currently i am this is from one book some sketch this one is where i visually i create something like here's like I was trying to find colors for this YouTube channel and I found this in Starbucks gift cards and I loved their colors and I tried to replicate it and here is my vision about this YouTube channel and uh, text and what kind of images I try to put together what I am interested in what kinds of colors I love and uh, so this is and the paper is like really for art this is not thin this is pretty thick enough and this one is my next project and a little bit regret i didn't buy 180 because at that moment when i made the decision about this one i was in costa rica and i didn't know the difference between this and this one so i hope i will love this too i haven't never used it yet this one is also about my things these are field notes in one set i had different field notes this is blank this is with lines and this one is about book i am writing so i gather my ideas and what i learn i put it here so as you see, I have separated for different projects, different things. And yesterday I found this one in one garage sale. And I was thinking, ah, oh, this is something interesting. It's kind of vintage. This is from year, I don't know which year. Printed in USA, recycled materials. I think it's vintage. Yeah, it's 99. And uh, somebody, that's not my writing, somebody did it and i was like hmm, maybe i should try it sounds great idea so and this one is my one of my first ones and my first 
I will show you what looked it has suffered through different <laughs> weathers and countries and decades of moving around but this one was uh, like I will just share a little corner of this because it's very personal this is when I started to use colors these that's a whole another story this is the way how I knew how to use that's my beginning that is how I knew how to use colors and this is just for sheer writing that's like morning pages and things like that so i hope you enjoyed this tour and see you in the next video